What's up guys? It's a few true heels vlog. Wait. Is this going on future heels or future villains? <laughs> It'll be on the website. It, it it's, that's that's the problem when you're both. Yeah. You don't know where to put it. Uh okay, well, we're going to record a podcast today, so it's future heels. Okay. Uh I can't flip this when I'm recording. So, me and Bryman are going to the Gundam store. I've already got one. I haven't built it yet. Zaku one sniper type. I love Zaku's. Uh, Brian's already built one. That's a cat. That's cat. Not a Gundam. This is the hangar. Who is this now? Kamaris Vidar, I think. I think that's how you say it. I'm trying to read it. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> wait. No, it does say a name down there. HD, oh, so 144 Gundam. Yeah, Kamaris Vidar. What series is he from? Iron Blooded Orphan Season 2. Oh, sweet. Okay, I just started watching that. I so, can't find Season 2 in English. Oh, great. So I we're. lost all credibility because I said it in English. So. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I watched Dub. I we're, uh, we're going to Tampa today. I'm just trying to get some pro footage. It's a shitty driver. It's the wind. This is not a very aerodynamic vehicle. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Pushing a box at 70 miles an hour. You're the one that bought the box. I love the box. With your, yeah, that's pretty much what channel. it was. It's just so fucking weird. That's okay. I woke up with the weirdest song ever stuck in my head. <laughs> oh. Gay Asian Kid. Huh? You ever heard it? Nope. <laughs> oh. It's, some, it's a YouTube guy. I can't remember who that I think it's James O'Moore, who I used to I listen to a song all the time. His uh, song was like, if I was a gay Asian kid, 
Fair enough. Yeah, this was back like around the beginning, so definitely. <laughs> he did make some quality songs. So I definitely want to check out his other store while we're there as well. What's his other store? Shop from Japan. Huh. Where is that at? It's, I guess it's like right around the corner. Huh. Or like right down the aisle way. Yeah, I guess that's smart for him to do if he goes to Japan and orders stuff from Japan. Like, I'm like 100% sure he has at least Robbie and Andy. Wow, so his fucking Gundam store does that well, he just does it separate? I think so. Wow. Yeah, pretty impressive. I would not expect that. But I'm discovering the world of Gundam is bigger than I thought. So. At least down here it is. I need people for my diorama. Right. And they are expensive as fuck. Really? They look shitty. They are so pricey. I mean, you can get, like, really crappy looking ones for super cheap off eBay. You can get, like, a hundred of them for, like, two bucks. Uh, but, like, to get decent ones. And I can paint that small, sort of. Like, I think I can paint decently enough at that level. But... Like, yeah, like, I was, because I went to the hobby shop yesterday, and, like, five guys, and they're all, like, old, they're all, like, 50-style looking people. Like, you can't get anything modern looking. Um, it's, uh, it's, like, $15. Wow. For an in scale, which is the closest one to Gundam. It's, like, right. 1 to one fifteen scale. Instead of 1 to 144. But the guys are like half the height of your pinky from this. Yeah. Your pinky nail. And it's like, they're like five bucks a piece. And I'm like, no, fuck you. It's like, that's ridiculous. And O scale, I think, is close enough to, but I, I didn't see anything in that. I don't know how big that is. I think HO scale was the most. They had the most stuff for it. But like a building was like twenty dollars. Which is not out of the question. I mean, it's like you should be able to make a building. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna buy one. I'm not gonna buy a building. I ain't build buildings. Um, especially for anything we're gonna do with them. Like if we were playing if we do play that kind of skirmish game, like I will definitely build the buildings. I seem like if you you can even just get a cardboard box and print out a fucking facade of a building and wrap it. That's the best way to do it. At least for that kind of game. Yeah. I had I built a couple detailed ones because I like to do it. A couple destructible ones. Yeah. That would be good. But yeah, like I was reading the rules. I got through a little bit of it. The rule book's 42 pages. But, like, the majority of it is, like, campaign stuff, I think. Like, the actual rules, I think, are within, like, the first, like, ten pages. I mean, the guy put a lot of work into it. I really want that Gundam vs. video game now. Oh, yeah? I need to go sign that petition to have it put on Xbox One. Oh, that's right. That would be cool. to tell him about that have him promote it. The uh, edition? Yeah. I wonder how much he, like, like, I was wondering about that, like, the Reggie Branson songs, like, I wonder if that's, I don't know who was DJing his little gun of hip-hop thing. Or, right. Uh, like, I was wondering, you know, did they play any Reggie Branson? Do they know about Reggie Branson? Or did they just play, like, trap remixes of Gundam right. songs or something? I gotta imagine if they went into Gundam music, they found him. Because he's very popular now. It seems like it. Him and... It's like him and Mega Ran, which I like them, but I wouldn't have expected them to blow up. Right, yeah. They're definitely more mainstream than like Frog or Mars or Shaper. Yeah. Dizzy Chris is a little... That, yeah. He's almost... I don't know. He's not really mainstream anymore, I don't think. He's no, kind of fucked himself. Yeah, he, he is kind of fucked up. 
Like, he doesn't... Now he's got his kid, he's not touring as much. Yeah. So. And he just keeps making stupid decisions and making fans upset. Yeah. Well, it was just a couple days before... Did you go to the show with Richie Branson? No. Yeah, well, it was a couple of shows. Oh, I saw Mega Ram. Alright, so you never went to... You never went to a Gainesville show? Right? No. Okay. Yeah, it was a couple days before uh, I saw the Richie Branson one. On, on, on Monster Hunter Tour. Right. Um, where the guy, where he kicked the guy out for talking shit about Richie Branson. That was the big controversy at the time. So, like, when Richie Branson came on, I was like, oh, let's see what this guy was talking about. I was like, well, I don't know, because this guy's pretty great. I guess he said he was pandering. Yeah, that's... Man. How was he pandering? I mean, he would... It has tickets at 14 That's the point where it was It was just like, how many people here like Street Fighter and does like a Street Fighter or something? It's like, who likes who's heard of this? Tickets uh, at 14. Racing anime did as an initial piece on It's like, it's just interesting. Yeah, songs. but if he says who likes racing anime and everyone went. That'd be a shit song. Doing not good fun. Especially, like, he probably wasn't all that popular at the time, was he? No, I think it was, like, one of his first tours. Yeah. First, I, I'm pretty sure it was his first national tour. So all these people who don't know who the fuck he is. Yeah. Yeah, he should probably try and do songs that the crowd's gonna like. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think that's smart. Well, what was the guy saying? Like, was he saying that too, Richie? It was on Twitter. Oh, that's right. I remember this now. And then MC Chris came out and asked who it was to kick him out. Did he come out on Mike and ask? See, no pities. Oh, I'm not 100% sure. I do have to I wonder if Richie was okay with him doing that. I don't know. The guy must have been talking a lot of shit if he got kicked out. I would hope he was Turn right onto Van Dyke Road, signs for Hillsborough County. Yeah, he wasn't just like, oh, I don't like this guy. Yeah. Chris kicked him out, and that's fucked up.